The Hidden Champion Model, How Germany Plans Its Economy Central to German economic planning is the concept of the middle stand, a word composed of the two parts, middle and stand, meaning middle and class, respectively. Middle stand refers to the concept of a corpus, or body, of small and medium-sized enterprises that embody the national economy and drive it forward in the areas of production. The term hidden champions was coined by Hermann Simon, a German businessman, who noticed a number of middle stand companies, companies that had existed for generations, were fundamentally changing, adapting to the modern age. These companies were developing into world leaders in their respective sectors, and their growth and development resulted in an abnormal amount of exports for their home country, Germany. What is a hidden champion? The champions Simon is referring to are small and medium-sized businesses, SMEs, companies that have become market leaders in their respective industries. Often, these businesses will be family-owned. Often, they will be local, but at the same time, they have an international outlook, a dominating market position, and a strong export market. As Simon says, to be classified as a hidden champion, a company must meet three criteria. It must be among the top three in the world in its market or number one on its continent. Its revenue must be less than 5 billion euros. It must have a low level of awareness among the general public. An example of such a business is ASML, world leader in advanced lithography machines, a key component to the manufacturing of semiconductors. This Dutch hidden champion is the world's only manufacturer of EUV lithography machines. It has more than 80% of all chip manufacturers as its customers, and 65% market share in its industry. Decades ago, Nikon, a Japanese multinational and a then major manufacturer of lithography systems, did not prioritize R&D, simply because the business opportunity was too modest to attract the interest of a company their size. ASML, on the other hand, was able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it now dominates the small niche in the semiconductor supply chain. Another example of a hidden champion is Heitkamp & Fullman, a global market leader in battery cans. The holding company comprises 15 SMEs under a single name, and the battery component division is the world's leading supplier of alkaline battery parts. In such a competitive market, the group says that this can only be done by the decentralized structure of the group, which allows for maximum flexibility and maneuverability. Why are these companies desirable? A high concentration of such businesses propel a country into the modern age, while permitting it the flexibility and dynamism it needs to stay competitive. The development of hidden champions in Germany contrasts with the large multinationals that have grown in the UK and the US, corporate giants who often attempt to engage in monopolistic and rent-seeking behavior. The dominance of these firms runs counter to the welfare of the general laborer as well as company customers, who often experience vicious working conditions and unconscionable price gouging. Before long, the state itself is hijacked and run for and by short-term profiteers. Capital is then redirected into unproductive ends, interests which run counter to national development. The hidden champion model provides a second possibility. It serves as an alternative path, a development concept, an idea that such champions can remain competitive in the contemporary age, and not only can they be competitive, but they can outperform much larger and more inorganic companies. In particular, the leading position these champions exhibit and the familial culture they employ emphasize superior values, principles of quality and long-term thought over quarterly earnings reports, and unrestrained growth. Since the flourishing of such businesses is of vital importance, states must create industrial ecosystems where these champions can be born.